drone that can be used for dozens of missions, from rescuing people during disasters to producing movies and TV series. The founder of the company that developed the drone refused to work with his country's military. In the end, his company became the largest in the world. We're talking about the drones of the Chinese company DJI. The company was founded by a young Chinese man who used simple, barely imaginable tools. He used empty cans, glue, and used electronic parts. In the end, he owned one of the largest companies in the world. What is the story of DJI and its founder Wang Tao, and how are drones manufactured in the factory? In this video, we take you on an exclusive tour of one of DJI's factories, where drones are built from scratch until they soar into the sky, how raw materials become a flying shell, how electronic components are assembled, and what strict standards the company applies in quality assurance. An exciting journey between machines, robots, and human hands shaping the future. Enjoy every second of this video. The Chinese company DJI is considered one of the world's leading manufacturers of unmanned aerial vehicles, also known as drones. Their products are no longer limited to aerial photography, but have become indispensable tools in fields like agriculture, rescue operations, mapping, and even filmmaking. But behind these smart devices is a precise manufacturing system that starts with design and goes through complex production and testing processes before reaching our hands. Drones, or unmanned aerial vehicles, have evolved over time, just like any other product. But when that evolution takes unimaginable proportions, it becomes something else entirely. The first drone ever made resembled a military propeller. Its outer structure showed no regard for design. It was also large, hard to control, and difficult to operate. Although it could only fly for about 10 seconds before crashing, it was very expensive, costing several thousand dollars. This experimental drone model, which used simple trial technologies, allowed the aircraft to resist wind without crashing. Back then, this was considered a scientific breakthrough, even science fiction before it became reality. Behind this great success was a young Chinese man, Wang Tao, who had been passionate about technology since childhood and had no interest in the trivial things other kids his age were into. He was a young man sitting in his small, dusty room, surrounded by Red Bull cans, glue, screws, and some electronic components. In this tiny room and in the mind of this young Chinese man, the world-leading drone company DJI was born. Wang Tao relied primarily on himself to bring his crazy idea to life. He didn't think about turning to newspapers, magazines, or TV to gain the attention needed to finance the investment. Instead, he focused on one thing, control, because control is what makes drones so valuable. No matter how advanced a drone's technology is, if its control system is weak, it will never be perfect. Only through precise control do drones gain their true value. Wang managed to perfect the flight control, from air stability to managing the drone's nervous system. He was so obsessed with his work, instead of hiring a team of developers, he wrote and implemented much of the code himself. DJI was founded in 2006 in the Chinese city of Shenzhen, in a small room known only through the internet and a young man trying to make the impossible possible. No one would have believed that a young Chinese man from his own room would invent something that would change humanity or found a tech company that would become unrivaled on the market. One of the most important reasons Wang Tao kept going and believed in what he was trying to invent was his professor named Li. Li is a robotics professor at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. He described the project as something truly unique. The trust Professor Li placed in the young inventor motivated him to double his efforts to make the idea a success. In 2008, Wang and his small team achieved the miracle. Humanity finally had a flying drone, an unmanned aerial vehicle capable of transmitting high-resolution video and carrying up to 5 kilograms. At the time, it felt like a miracle come true. No one could imagine that this metal box, with a stabilized camera transmitting shake-free images, could fly through the air and be remotely controlled. At the time, it was unthinkable, but with Wang Tao's strong will, his belief in his abilities, and determination, along with the support of his professor who believed in him and a small group of friends, he made the impossible possible. A drone can be described as a device that works with the mind, not the body. The most important part inside it is the technological component, not the hardware or external design. This small internal part is crucial for manufacturing, operation, and control. Drones aren't just sold as flying devices, but as complete systems that can be reliably controlled and used for a variety of tasks. Drone control varies by use case. Someone flying a drone for fun only needs the drone, 
a remote control, and a camera to enjoy the stunning views transmitted by the drone. But for organizations using them in disaster relief, drones play a much more vital role. When an earthquake struck China's Sichuan province, DJI was one of the first companies to respond to the emergency. The company deployed a prototype Wang Tao had recently completed. They flew over the rubble and took over a thousand aerial images, helping coordinate the rescue efforts. During this earthquake, DJI drones appeared, and the Chinese realized they weren't just toys their children played with. They understood these were vital devices that could be used for many missions, not just for fun. Since that earthquake, the company's sales figures have been rising. Another curious event during the earthquake was DJI drones entering a military exhibition. The military noticed the drones and assumed they were controlled by large systems. But when they saw how precisely the drones flew, without large controllers, they approached the company, wanting to use them for military purposes. But Wang Tao didn't want to start his career working with government agencies or military generals. The young Chinese man believed in people and was confident that he could succeed without becoming involved in military affairs. And that's exactly what happened. Instead of selling his products to the military, DJI made them available to the public. In 2010, the company launched the fourth generation of drone control units. These were two small boxes with GPS systems that could be attached to any drone. At that point, demand rose while the supply of drones decreased. The drone evolved from a small household aircraft into a powerful fuel-powered machine. In the heart of the Chinese city, Shenzhen lies DJI's main factory, the world's leading manufacturer of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones. In this modern factory, the drone's journey begins as a simple idea on paper and ends as a smart product that flies through the sky with precision and stability. Phase 1. Research and development engineers design prototypes using advanced software that lets them test drone performance on the computer before production begins. Once the final model is approved, the plans go to the production lines. Phase 2. Outer Shell Production In this phase, precision machines shape the plastic and metal parts that form the drone's body. DJI uses lightweight materials like carbon fiber and reinforced plastics for durability and flight performance. Each part is carefully inspected for defects using laser technology and precision measuring tools. Phase 3. PCB Assembly High-precision robots place tiny components like processors, chips, and sensors onto the circuit boards. These then pass through soldering ovens where components are fixed at controlled temperatures. Phase 4. Component Assembly The outer casing, PCBs, motors, camera, and battery are assembled, often manually by trained technicians working with extreme precision, as even a small mistake can affect the drone's performance. Phase 5. Technical Testing These tests occur in special rooms equipped to simulate flight conditions like wind and vibration. Drones are tested for responsiveness, air stability, image quality, and battery life. If they pass, they move to the next phase. Phase 6. Packaging the drone is securely packaged with its controller, charger, and manual. It's then shipped to warehouses and distributed to international markets. Every DJI drone goes through this complex process of high-tech steps and skilled craftsmanship to deliver a product that embodies the precision of Chinese engineering. Between 2014 and 2016, DJI transformed drones into smart robots that can be used in many aspects of daily life. Farmers use them to monitor crops, utility companies inspect power lines with them, in rescue missions, events, film production, and many more sectors, drones help save people time and effort. All of this began with an idea born in a small home in a Chinese city in the mind of a young man who developed the first drone prototype. In the future, experts predict drones may be controlled by emotions, gestures, or voice commands. This will be made possible by artificial intelligence, making brilliant ideas a reality that humanity could only dream of before. We hope you enjoyed the video and had fun exploring the journey from the early days of drone development through all the production stages to today's advanced models. Now, it's your turn. 
Let us know in the comments. Have you ever flown a drone? What was your experience? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, and share the video with your drone-loving friends.